The definition of frostbite is injury to body tissue caused by exposure to extreme cold, and that happens usually when temperature is below negative 1 degree Celsius or 31 degrees Fahrenheit. And usually, frostbite affects extremities such as the nose, feet, hands, or ears. And that's because when the human body gets cold, they'll restrict blood flow to extremities in favor of warming up the core of the body, which include major organs like the heart, liver, and lungs. So once they restrict blood flow, um, your extremities, such as your fingers here, will receive less blood and become colder and thus more prone to frostbite. There are four main stages of frostbite. So the first stage is just no frostbite. This might be your uh, hands just may feel cold and there's no skin or tissue damage whatsoever and no special treatment or medical attention is needed for this stage. Stage two is called frost nip and this is like the minor stage of frostbite, so nothing too serious. It doesn't damage your skin cells or your tissue in any way. Your skin of the affected area will turn red, become irritated, numb, or have a prickling sensation and uh, the affected region will feel cold. So for example here, if your fingertips have gotten frost nip, your fingertips will feel cold. And this can be treated by rewarming, um, by soaking the affected region in warm water for 15 to 30 minutes. Although it is important to avoid warming with heat sources such as uh, a fireplace because that might cause burns instead. And also it's important to avoid uh, hot water use warm water because if you use hot water then that may cause burns to the region as well the third stage is called superficial frostbite and this is when the affected area turns pale as seen in the diagram above and this is also when the affected region uh, feels warm so if your fingertips are affected by superficial frostbite instead of feeling cold they'll feel warm instead, which is a sign of a more serious condition and sign of tissue or cell damage. Also, furthermore, skin feels hard or stiff when touched, and that's because your skin is basically frozen. So once you've reached this stage, it's important to seek medical attention right away for rewarming. Don't try to rewarm this yourself because you may do more harm than good, and blisters may also appear once you get superficial frostbite. The final stage is called deep frostbite, and this is when the area turns black and feels hard or stiff to touch. This is when substantial tissue death occurs, which is, which is what gives it this um, darker coloration. And no muscle or joint, uh, joints in the area may work. So once you reach this stage, it is important again to seek immediate medical attention for rewarming. Don't try to rewarm yourself, um, much like the superficial frostbite. Always let a professional do it because you may cause more harm than good if you try to treat this yourself. And large blisters may appear after treatment. So just a quick review of what we've gone through. So the first stage, no frostbite, no damage whatsoever as seen on the graph here. Second uh, stage, frost nip. Only surface level skin damage, skin turns red, uh, numb or prickling sensation. Superficial frostbite, as you can see, it reaches a bit deeper into um, your skin tissues. And this is when your skin turns pale and blisters may appear. And then finally, deep frostbite is when, as you can see here, it reaches super deep into your uh, skin tissues all the way to the subcutaneous tissue layer, which is like the deepest uh, part of your skin. And this is when cell death occurs or tissue death occurs, which gives it this um, black or darker color. And I just want to leave this video off with an important note at the end, is that frostbite can occur at any temperature below zero if your clothing isn't enough to protect you. So that could be your clothing gets wet, it's um, very windy outside, or in general, your winter clothing is too small or tight. All those can lead to frostbite, and it's important to be wary or knowledgeable of this, especially now that we've reached like the colder winter seasons. Thank you for listening.